The Wizard SV Gel and PCR cleanup system is designed to extract and purify DNA fragments of 100 base pairs to 10 kilobase pairs from standard or low melt agarose gels in either tris acetate or tris borate, or to purify PCR products directly from a PCR amplification. To begin, gather 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes, 95% ethanol, and vacuum adapters. Add the indicated volume of 95% ethanol to the membrane wash solution, then record this addition on the bottle label. Tightly close the bottle cap after each use to prevent evaporation. Amplify the target of choice using standard amplification conditions. Add an equal volume of membrane binding solution to the PCR amplification. The maximum capacity of the column is 350 microliters of PCR product. For PCR volumes greater than 350 microliters, continue to pass the sample through the column until all of the sample has been processed. The total amount of PCR product that can be processed through a single column is 1 milliliter in 1 milliliter of membrane binding solution, a total of 2 milliliters. The maximum binding capacity of the membrane is approximately 40 micrograms. As little as 10 nanograms has been successfully purified. We recommend gel purification of the band of interest where amplification has been inefficient or has not produced a single product. Attach one vacuum adapter to a vacuum manifold port for each dissolved gel slice or PCR amplification. Insert an SV mini column into the vacuum adapter until it fits snugly in place. Transfer the dissolved gel mixture or PCR amplification to the SV mini column and incubate for one minute at room temperature. Apply a vacuum to pull the liquid completely through the SV mini column. Wash the column by adding 700 microliters of membrane wash solution. Make sure any droplets remaining on the sides of the SV mini column from the previous step are washed away. Apply a vacuum to pull the liquid through the SV mini column. Repeat the wash with 500 microliters of membrane wash solution. After turning off the vacuum and venting the manifold, transfer the SV mini column to a collection tube. Centrifuge the SV mini column assembly for 5 minutes at 16,000 times gravity. Empty the collection tube and recentrifuge the column assembly for 1 minute with a microcentrifuge lid open to allow evaporation of any residual ethanol. Carefully transfer the SV mini column to a new 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube, being careful not to wet the bottom of the mini column with the flow through. Apply 50 microliters of nuclease free water directly to the center of the column without contacting the membrane. Incubate at room temperature for one minute. Centrifuge for one minute at 16,000 times gravity. Discard the SV mini column and stir the microcentrifuge tube containing the eluded DNA at 4 degrees Celsius or minus 20 degrees Celsius.